And we're live uh, from uh, Seattle. Got the sound. We got Emil. My name is Pelly. I work in the Mako team. And with me is Emil. And today, Emil, we're going to be doing um, Red Light, Green Light Game. Red Light, Green Light Game. It's a cool game you can do um, in, uh, in Microbit. So we're here in Make Code for Microbit. This is a website where I'm just going to figure out my green screen here. Are we transparent, Emil? All right. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing Make Code for Microbit. So makecode.microbit.org. And you can do all the stuff we're going to be doing in the browser. But if you have two microbits, uh, you'll be able, or more, or four or five, you'll be able to do a very cool red light, green light game where people can't cheat. Uh, so we're doing that today. So Emil, how about we go and find that activity? It is in the radio games. So you just scroll down to radio games and then you can see there's green light, red light. Uh, are you doing extra long clicks? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's show the instructions. Now there's a whole bunch of instructions here. Um, we're gonna keep that open. Uh, but I'm going to do uh, something that is very helpful when we're doing radio. We're going to go to a website called makecode.com slash multi. And by the time you uh, do this exercise, probably on your own, you will, um, you will probably have that in instruction, so you won't have to remember that. Um, so makecode multi is, uh, is a way to code two microbit programs. At the, same time. at the same time, because in red light, green light, there's a person who's doing, you know, na, 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 <laughs> and then there's people running behind, and they both are going to run the different code. Uh, but we want to program that together. Uh, so we're not going to use the regular editor. And then we have the instructions here. All right, you ready? Yeah. So who's the play? Okay. So it's, yeah, it's the, you know, yeah, you know, somebody turns his head. Uh, they count in their head and they say green light and then they turn their head. And anybody who's moving has to go back all the way to the start. State, green light, and red light. Okay. Yeah. So these typically what we're going to do is that we're going to create variables that are um, capitalized uh -huh. when we consider them that they're constants. That means they're just codes uh, because we send numbers by the radio. Uh, so we got two codes, green light, red light. That's our kind of our language, mm -hmm. the way we talk. And state is where our player is. So state is going to be we're in green light mode or in red light mode. So green light meaning I'm just you know hiding my head, and then red light, turn my yeah. head. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's go and do that. So we're going to create a new project. Uh, let's give it a name. And that is going to be the. So how do you call the person who's playing the game? Light? <laughs> yeah, the light person. All right. And, uh, wait, 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 wait. And we're going to, I'm, we're just going to get this one here. And let's put it in here. All right. We're going to work on half of that screen. Well, that didn't work out perfectly, but it kind of works. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So we need three variables. Where'd it go? <laughs> yeah, it's going away. Okay. So three variables. State. Yeah, state. And yep, state is going to be zero. And then we're going to have green lights. I'm going to say green light is zero. No, green light was one, right? Okay, one. And then we're going to have another state, another, and that's going to be red light. And it's two. And that is two. Two. Let me just check. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Let's keep reading instructions. And we, what we can also do is we're going to, we're gonna move this one out, and then we're gonna move this one here. And yeah, we can see both. Beautiful. 
No, I bet. Yeah. All right. Okay. Radio send numbers. Program on the left. Program on the left. Instructions on the right. <laughs> okay. Forever. Uh, let's set up the group two. Oh, yeah. Why? What I don't get is, like, so they have an alphabet here, but then there's nothing in the answer groups. Oh, that's a bug in my instructions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's confusing. Uh, hold on. Move this in. So, yeah, no, totally these instructions will have to be updated. Uh, whenever you do radio, um, you want to set the group first yeah. because um, only the micro in the same group are going to talk to each other. Uh, so that, for example, you don't interfere with your friends who are doing that in class. Uh, so we're going to use group one here. And what this one does, it just constantly sends its state to all existing micro -bits. Oh, yeah, we have this because it's in the beta. Yeah, we're in the beta here. So we've got this new connector tells you where you can drop. See? Ooh. So good. <laughs> it helps. So rewarding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we're just constantly telling people which state we are. Right? Mm -hmm. So what happens with radio, sometimes you miss a packet. So it's not like it's guaranteed to arrive. So we mm -hmm. just repeat. Um, Should yeah. I close the simulator? No. Oh, no, that's on data. Um, so we have radio group one. And we just stream our state. OK, buttons. I'm just going to close that. And then we're going to do two buttons. So button A is going to be green light. And then button B is going to be red light. Okay. So we've got our we've got our two buttons here and button A is gonna set our program to green light mode. So we're gonna set the state. Let's grab this one. Yep, to being the Set state to the green light there. Green light for A, right? Yeah. You know, read that. Go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and red light. Red light. <laughs> and also, we want to uh, show Icons. something on the. Uh, You want to show after you said the state because you want it to be immediate and the, the show string adds a little bit of delay. Um, now we're going to use a super cool feature in, no we're not because I can't see it here. All right. But do we add another set? Because look, it was always like that, but did you take no, up? No, no, the unstart has issues. Yeah. This problem there. <laughs> Well, it should be hidden. We're bug testers. Yeah, we're bug testers. <laughs> uh, let's try it out. A, B. Yay. Yeah. So we have two micro bits. All right. Now I'm going to show you something really cool. I'm going to toggle debug mode here. Mm -hmm. And this is a new feature in micro bit uh, in the beta. So we can actually set. Um, breakpoints and we can look at what's going on. Ooh, so it tells you what's broken? Uh, so I'm going to restart. I can't restart. Um, let me see if I can put this here. Yeah, it stops and then it shows you the state. Right? State is oh, zero. Yeah. So I'm going to I'm going to remove the breakpoint here. I'm going to run. Hmm, it's blocked. All right, well, we're in the beta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're running. Um, now if I press A, and I come back, then if I click here, you see my state is 1 now. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So we can see, um, and we'll spend quite a bit of time in the debugger, we can see what's going on yeah. in the variables. It's very helpful to figure out if you have a bug or something. Uh, we'll spend more time on that. It seems that it needs a bit of polish in this view, mm -hmm. probably in the next video. All right, uh, let's organize this nice and clean. So we need to go to the next step. Oh, no. Oh, okay. 
So we this is it. the full stoplight code, and I think we got it all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, as I said, we're going to have, oh, improve the game. Ringtone play sound while the game is in green light mode. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that later. Okay, so um, now because we have our double editor here, I'm going to drag it to the side here, and I'm going to create a new project. Yeah. <laughs> and that is going to be the player, so it's going to be the light player. Wait. Player. Red, green, light player. <laughs> I love our name. Yeah, we love our name. <laughs> loving, loving, loving the name. All right, so uh, we have to do kind of the same. So I'm just going to, uh, we're going to have to do, let's see, set the same variables and the same group name. And you can't drag a block from one frame to the other. <laughs> Although it would be interesting to figure out. Ben. Although, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Can't do that. So, oh, can do copy with the keyboard and paste. No, didn't do it. <laughs> wait, let's see, let's see. No. 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 That'd be cool. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It doesn't go from one window to the other. That'd be really cool. All right. Well, we have to redo it. Okay. Let's get to work. Three variables. I'll be. I'll be the keyboarder. Let's go. Oops. Kind of try to get the same one. One way we could move the code would be to go to JavaScript and copy paste code. Yeah, but like... You can also do it like this. Yeah, let's click this. So we're um, recreating our little codes here. There you and, go. Uh, no, we're not done. And... <coughs> And the group, yeah. Don't forget the group, otherwise it will look like it doesn't work because they ignore each other's messages. Yeah. Um, let's click uh, here and figure out what's going on now. Communication, yeah. So this is the receiver part of the program. It's you're the player and you're you're basically listening to the state of the of the uh, what do we call them? The the master of the game. The other. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> All right. overlord. So we're going to store the receive number as the state. So that's what we're going to do. So let's do that. And then we'll have a forever loop that renders the game. So we're going to do a receive number. Now that we see, yeah. So there's a three string and num uh, different. Because we are sending a number, so we expect the number on the other side. And we're just going to store it in the state. So now we know, we basically remember... So fun. <laughs> uh, we remember what state, so we know which state is uh, the master. It's going to be in green light state or a red light state. Um, and now we're going to show that in a forever loop so that we know. Okay. And at that point, we'll be able to actually debug um, our code. All right, let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna define sized if so. <laughs> it's out of the <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's the fun bug. And we got it. You know, it's a beta. We have some. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just gonna put that in there. Oh, that's too much. I'm just gonna put that one in there too. All right, okay. so you want state, state equals green light. How about we move to the left so we get a bit more space? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, this, this. Oh, uh, there we go. The there. connector is really helpful. Yeah. Where it tells you where you're going to drop it. All right, so state equals green light. And then. Yeah. And, uh, show icon check mark. Show icon check mark. Just like that. 
And otherwise, if it's equal to red light, then we're just going to show the X. I'm just going to put it in before. Just, yeah, that's going to be helpful. And uh, you probably want to change that to red light. Yeah, we make a lot of mistakes copy pasting. Don't worry, everybody <laughs> does it. Uh, okay, so now actually we're ready to uh, test this out between the two. So I'm gonna expand this again, give space to both sides. Um, so for example, if I go full screen here, I can send messages and you see that it's green, it's checked and it's checked, right? So it looks like communication is working. So this is the side that sends the messages and but we are not done but we're not done because we need to check that the user the is player not is not moving. moving okay but they can just keep their hands steady and run it's hard <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go back to these instructions but it's really helpful to be able to uh, oh yeah was this supposed to be in blocks or um, no, this is kind of pseudo math notation. <laughs> uh, all right. So um, what you want to check is that. <clears throat> so what we're going to measure is the how much acceleration there is on on you. OK, mm -hmm. but not in a particular direction, just as a magnitude. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and that is called we call that the acceleration strength in make code. Um, so we're going to. We're going to take the acceleration strength. Now, <coughs> actually, we don't have to do this math. This, we can do that uh, pretty easily. It's always something positive. This, this actually, yeah. It, so at any point in time, if you're not moving, how much acceleration do you have on you? Zero. You'd be floating in the, the space if you had that. Well, negative two? Uh, in gravities. Oh, uh, one? Yeah, there's always one gravity <laughs> one pulling gra you down. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, making sure you're glued to the ground. Otherwise, you'd be floating in the air. You know, that's why on, on the moon, you can jump, you know, mm -hmm. like you're a basketball player. Uh, and be a player. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to measure the, dif the distance between the strength we're measuring and a thousand because we're in milli, milligravities, right? All right, so let's start doing that. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna, oh, this code should not go in on start, should go in forever. All right, so we're gonna add a forever loop. Another forever? Yeah. Forever. Forever. And uh, we're going to uh, check if we're in the red light state. Or well, actually, we could just put it in the other one. No, no, we ha this has to be fast. Yeah. Uh, Set green light to zero. So do a check. Uh, first do an if. No, we uh, skip that. That's, that's a bug in the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to check that, well, if we're in, uh, if we are in the... Boom. Yeah. Boom. If we're in the red light state, so we're not supposed to move. State. We are in Washington. Yeah, we're in Washington state. <laughs> it has nothing to do with this state. Um, <coughs> then we're going to compute this moving variable. Can we make a new one? Yeah. Do it, make it gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So the moving is going to be <coughs> the absolute value of the strength minus a thousand. Okay. Mind blown? No, it's just a lot of stuff <coughs> inside of stuff. No, that's that's a logical operator. No. You need an. Uh, oh, it does. Okay. No, let's 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 do it like this. We're going to split it in two. It's going to be more. Wait, that's what that tutorial does. Yeah, but, you know, I changed my mind. I want to do it differently. <laughs> I'm going to take the absolute value of the acceleration strength. OK? 
Okay. I'm going to create a new variable for that. I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it acceleration. Acceleration. All right. So this is basically the acceleration. And then I'm going to do the difference between the acceleration and the thousand. And we'll use a debugger to play around with this. But I'm, new, I'm using a lot of variables so I can see them in the debugger. Oh, my God. All right, Good. minus a thousand, and that is going to be the uh, movement. And then there's one more variable that we're going to create, which is called moving. And moving is a Boolean variable. It checks that your movement is greater than a hundred. And you're going to see why I'm doing all these variables when we go to the debugger. All right, so let's try to debug this. We're going to expand this. Uh, so I'm going to go in red state here. So red state. Here I'm going to go in debug mode. And I'm going to put a breakpoint here. <clears throat> so we see that it's not moving. Yeah, it actually is going to move line by line. So acceleration is 1,023. Movement is 23. That means we have we're almost not moving. And is movement greater than 100? No. Then its movement is moving <coughs> false. All right. Yep. Okay. So now. I am going to move this one, and that's going to be the change one. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to run and kind of do some some moves here. All right. Yeah. Well, let's let's keep doing the code. We'll put a breakpoint in the, we'll in the branch. Two All right. Uh, let's get out of debug. Can I get out of debug here or here? Oh, we have two mouses. Uh, okay, so let's collapse this. Yeah. Let's keep going with our super cool lesson. You just have the micro bit. <laughs> oh, the little cute little micro bit. <laughs> All right. Um, so if we are moving, we're back here, Mill. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Ooh. Like. Where are we? Here. No. Here. Movement check. Here. So if the micro bit is moving, that means the moving variable is true, we're going to have a nested it. So we're going to grab a new one. And I'm going to put it, uh, no, it has to be under. OK, and uh, you're going to use the moving variable, which now contains, that, that one yes. Does. And in that case, we're just going to game over because you move. <laughs> And that would be in game. Boy. Okay, let's see. And that would be so sad. Game over. Uh, game over. You can have sprites in microbit. Yeah, you can. Have, we did sprites. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should revisit them. All right, now. I think more sprites in arcade. Now it's going to be easier to debug. I'm going to. Oh, let's see. Okay, I'm in red mode. Oh, it failed. Let's go in debug mode. I'm going to put this. And I'm going to move the micro bit. So, see, it's not breaking. Uh, oh, my snail is back. All right, I'm going to move it. And now, boom. It stopped. So, we, we, we uh, turn on these red dots to turn on a uh, breakpoint. Now look at the variables. Acceleration is 1.7 G. So movement is 700. Mm -hmm. So moving is true. And we know you're moving. <laughs> and you're toast. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're game over. Does that make sense? Yeah. And with the debugger, it's really, it's really helpful to, to be able to check that out. All right, 
Well, it's gonna be time to download this. So I have one micro bit here. Uh, and we, should, we should have at least 500. We're gonna try with two micro bits. So this is gonna be the player micro bit. So can you download the player stuff on the right? Yeah. There's the little download dialog. Uh, right click download again. We're not gonna be pairing because we're doing it It's downloading. Okay, it's good. I'm going to plug this one with the battery. Okay, well, it doesn't show anything, I guess, because the other one is not on. All right, now let's uh, let's put the let's put the uh, master no, the other side. as and put it in the other micro bit this one it doesn't matter it's the same all right so this one hopefully has battery and this one is on i'm going to press a to go into green line mode we should really make sure we always show something when it starts yeah so you know there's power uh okay so you see green x green now i'm in x Oh, oh, it's blinking, you're game over. Sorry to tell you that, you lost. <laughs> All right, that's the game. Um, it's, it is a one too many game. So you can have as many of these ones. So everybody can have its own microwave and can play mm -hmm. the game. Uh, yeah. No more cheating. Uh, now it's all verified with the electronics. And uh, yeah, today we use the uh, we use the multi editor to uh, code two micro bits and create the beautiful little green light red light code. And um, we'll update the guide with with better instructions. Okay. Now that I've figured out what was happening. All right. Well, that's all for today, and thank you for tuning in.